Hey everyone, Greta here. So this video is dedicated to those of us practicing the tripod headstand. Um, and it just doesn't feel right. Something is missing. The description of the topic for today is a little bit weird because, um, yeah, because that's exactly how you feel. Um, you are practicing the tripod headstand. Um, you are using strength, you're engaging the muscles, you're holding your abs and all that stuff. But even when you can get up, it just feels awkward. Like you feel like you're pushing, but then somehow the strength isn't really supporting you. And then you feel the balance is really wobbly. And you are always very worried that if you go all the way up, like uh, with the leg straight, um, it's so easy to fall over. Uh, the balance is just not there. You are just like puzzled. You're like, hmm, what's happening? If that is you, you might want to check the position of your hands, the hand placement. So the alignment for tripod is actually quite simple. Simple doesn't mean it's easy. It just means that it's not too complex. So you place a crab head down to the floor, palms down, and then you lift up, right? So it's, yeah, crab head down to the floor, hands down, and then you lift. But then a lot of us, because we are trying to find the balance, we're trying to you know become familiar in the shape, uh, whenever we are practicing this inversion, sometimes when we get nervous and the position of the hands seem to be a little bit confused or lost. Now, um, if you place the hands too far away from your rest of the body, then it's easy to feel because the palms would peel away. Actually, the base of the palms would feel light and you won't feel stable enough to or safe enough to press up. So. I rarely see people having the hands for placing too far away from the shoulders. Um, what I tend to see is the, <clears throat> that a lot of us tend to place hands too close, just a little bit too close. Um, maybe it's because it's, it's just more natural, it's not, or um, the awareness is not yet there. So, um, if you place the hands too close to the face, meaning that the wrists are closer to the face than directly under the elbows, when you lift up, I'm just gonna place my hands closer to my face. Chances are the elbows would tend to splay out. And then when you push, the shoulders tend to go right into the ears because you'll be relying on your upper traps. So when you go up, um, you might feel not too secure, you might feel wobbly, you might feel like I'm pushing a lot, but then the amount of uh, effort that I'm investing is not really reflecting in the shape, in the stability of the shape. So it's the placement of the hands. Um, because if you place the hands too close to the face, when you push, again, you're, you're not really using the muscles in the chest, the packs, they cannot really spread the upper back. So everything goes into the upper traps, the neck, shoulder area. So everything becomes really close. So what you want to do is you want to place the rest more directly underneath the elbows. So when you press, you can feel that the shoulders could move away from the ears and then feel the elbows hug in activating the muscles in your chest, your pecs. So when you go up, you can feel the upper back spreading, shoulders away from the ears, and that you feel more, much more stable than the hands really, really, really close to the body. And you might feel um, very jammed and crammed up, and that doesn't really feel right. This movement is very small, but then it could definitely change um, the way you feel when you're balancing in your inversion. Um, again, it's something small, but then you cannot really see it on your own uh, simply because of the nature of the shape. So what I would suggest is either find someone to you know, um, check out for you, or you can just set up your phone, your camera, and just take a video of you when you're trying to go upside down. Place it in profile like me so that when you're going upside down, you can actually see the playback of the video, the position of the wrist. Um, so that could be quite helpful with that. Now all this would lead to the second question. 
does uh, actually do the wrist need to be directly underneath the elbows? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> um, again, because every body is different. Um, some people would benefit if the wrists are right underneath the elbows. Some people would feel better if the wrists are slightly closer or further away. So you might want to just explore. But then the golden rule is you don't want that wrist to be too close to the face so that you feel you know, everything is trapped here. You feel the elbows playing out. That's a no-no. Nor do you want the wrist to be too far away from the face so much that you don't feel the palms could press down to the floor evenly without, uh, or, 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 or firmly without really having too much pressure in the wrist. Whenever you go up into an inversion, you should feel a little bit of lightness. If you feel heavy all the time, then something could be off. Okay, it could be the position of the base or maybe it's the legs. So legs is another part that we'll be talking about later on. So today is more focusing on the actual base, the very, very base of the base. So that's it. Have a try and just let me know. And don't forget to like my video, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And aside from doing YouTube videos, I also teach in person and online. So if you're interested in practicing with me, just drop me a note and I'll get back to you ASAP. That's it. And I'll see you again soon. Take it easy.